For RCR Wireless News, I'm Kyle Loda, here with Alistair Williamson at the Rand Plan Wireless Office. Now, Alistair, you all just exhibited at Mobile World Congress a few weeks ago. You know, talk to us a little bit about some of the 5G trends that you saw with regards to planning networks. Well, 5G was the main theme in Mobile World Congress, and you know that was not just um, with operators, but also with vendors. To put it into perspective from where we come and look at the 5G themes in respect to wireless network planning, you know, what's become apparent is that all the initial deployments in 5G are going to be within buildings and in dense urban areas, which is a key focus for RANPLAN. You know, our tool is designed for planning in building wireless networks in conjunction with outdoor urban environments. In respect to rollouts, you know, what we expect, and that there has been a lot of trials going on, a lot of demonstrations going on, but the initial trials are in building. Um, Last year, we, we expect these to accelerate in 2019, and we expect to see the peak of 5G coming through in about 2023. Yeah, and I, I know that you all have a partnership um, with Japanese operators that came out in the fall. Um, so, you know, talk to us a little bit about some of the challenges that they face with regards to planning reliable networks. No, absolutely. Um, just to, to focus on the, the Japanese um, opportunity, so we, we did secure a large order in Japan through our reseller early this year. Um, the main challenges um, that you know operators are going to face when it comes to rolling out 5G networks can really be split into two different uh, categories. You know, the first challenge is 5G is complex, so there's new feature functionality that's been brought into 5G, such as beamforming, massive MIMO. These are all new capabilities that the planning tool has to cope with. And you know we've invested a lot of money in 2018 to get our tool 5G ready, so we're compliant with all the 5G NR standards. And we can actually demonstrate that capability now, and customers are actually using our tool now to deploy trial 5G networks. The second uh, complexity that our, our customers talked to us about is it, how to plan networks in the millimeter wave space, so, so 28 gigahertz and above. And as you know, radio waves um, interact very differently at higher spectrums compared with traditionally lower spectrums that mobile networks have been deployed in. So at RANPLAN, you know, we, we have developed a propagation engine that allows you to propagate all the way up to about 60 gigahertz. So you know, we're way into the millimeter wave space. So from a propagation perspective, we can support these higher frequencies. But also what we've done is we've done a lot of work on understanding how those radio waves interact with different materials, such as concrete, brick, um, wood. Um, trees, people, water. So we've done all of that investigative research and we've put that information into our tool to allow us to actually predict very accurate 5G planning. You know, you mentioned some of the, your planning tools and capabilities, but specifically I know in building is where 5G will have a, a lot of issues, right? Yeah. Because, I mean, that's where a large portion of the mobile traffic is, right? Yeah. Um, so talk to us a little bit about some of the indoor solutions that you all provide. We repositioned our products a bit at Mobile World Congress to specifically fit to Pacific markets. So, you know, Ramplan Professional is still our flagship product. Um, it allows you to design in-building wireless networks in conjunction with dense um, urban outdoor wireless networks. But we also launched a new product called uh, Ramplan InBuilding, where we've taken the outdoor capability away from it, and it focuses solely on customers who just want to design and plan in-building wireless networks. We also launched another product called Ramplan InBuilding Lite, which is focusing at the public safety market. So we took a lot of the feature functionality that was not required for public safety and put in new feature functionality that the public safety market demands and we launched that product at Mobile World Congress. What are some of your all's plans and vision for 2019? Well, if I can split that into two separate answers, um, if I look at the business first and then the market. So 2018, we, we, we doubled our revenues from 2017 and in 2019 already we've received purchase orders which are in excess of our total 2018 revenue. So from a business perspective, it's about keeping that momentum going. 
From a market perspective, um, a lot of our focus has been in uh, Japan, US, South Korea, Asia Pac. We're going to continue that focus, um, but we're also going to put a lot more focus onto public safety and a lot more focus onto the industrial Internet of Things because there's a real pent up demand in those markets to look at a planning tool to help roll these networks out. Well, that's exciting stuff. Alistair, thank you for your time. It's a pleasure, Carl. It's good to see you again. Thank you.